today we're gonna learn how to use Windows Movie Maker or My Movie Maker and we'll get it adjusted and ready to go and uh, first thing we're gonna do is look at our settings uh, you wanna kinda familiarize yourself with this uh, main thing you want to do is if you plan on doing blogging you want to make sure that uh, you have your mic set up and your webcam and once you have those set up you can go through and do that your, your settings just take you to the settings that you have set on your computer so and all these other things you really don't even have to worry about next if you want to save a project like you're in the middle of making a video and suddenly have to do something you hit save project here now if uh, you want to save your video you go over here and you click on this but we'll get to that later so let's go ahead and get started and load our first video so you go over here to add video or picture and click on it and we'll go to our videos and I didn't have any videos ready so I just grabbed uh, the closest video I could find which was a Halo gameplay video so I'll open that and it's gonna take a few minutes for it to uh, load but you can adjust the the uh, number of frames that you have around the side there by with that slide at the bottom there so and and that helps when you're lining stuff up so it's uh, just about done loading here and there we go and now the audio is loading audio usually only takes a few minutes and uh, once we're done with this we'll go ahead and play it for a minute or so and and see if it loaded good and how the quality is I've had times where it's loaded and it's just really been crap so looks good sounds good probably is good now it won't look good to you on this little screen uh, or in the video player you, you you have to play with it for a while when you get a bad video you'll know it <laughs> alright so we stop that and uh, we're gonna go to our video tool and we're gonna be doing some frame splitting so we split it right there right off we're gonna just chop this up like you wouldn't believe so give it a chop there it's kind of long video. It was like 13 minutes or so. So we're just going to go through and just keep chopping. So you can right click on it on the frames you want to get rid of and just hit remove. That's how you get rid of those. So I'll go ahead and I think I'll keep that cinematic in there. I'll clip it right there and remove that. We'll right click on that and remove. And we'll get it to where it's just past the cinematic. And we'll clip that. And keep going. We're going to take a bunch out of this chop the hell out of this video okay we're we'll running back we'll clip it there right click and remove
I didn't have to show you all these cuts. I just I did it because I wanted you to see every step that I take when I'm putting together a video. Now usually what I'll do is I'll watch each clip and get get it right to where I want it, pause it, snip it, and then remove the parts that I don't want. And if you accidentally remove a part that you do want, I'm sorry. <laughs> truly, truly I am sorry. I have, there's no like undo button, undo my, my screw up button. Not like on GIMP. GIMP, if you make a mistake on GIMP, you can undo it. So as I'm going to continue to make cuts here, I'm going to go ahead and hit my vaporizer. Alright, so we go back to home. We're going to add to some animations. Now these animations are what... Uh, bring your your frames together here as you can see it just takes you to the next clip that's what all these do and to get that open you just hit the drop down at the right hand side so that's the one I'm gonna use and I'm gonna apply it to all of them you just hit that and it does it to all of them now normally I would remove this one but since I'm going to add another picture, I'll just leave it there. Now I'm going to use the picture so that I can show you how to do a caption. Okay, I'll grab a halo picture. I'll put it up at the front. Go up to caption, click on that, and delete the default text. Just right click right there on that little screen and delete it. And then write your text. Now you can go up and make it bigger or uh, change the color. I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. Now you can move it around. If you slide it over the edges, it'll give you those arrows. And if you pull the ends to the edges, you're always centered. So that's nice. <laughs> no guesswork. I'll make it bold. And then I decide to go ahead and uh, change the color. We'll go with the same, roughly the same color blue as our Halo Spartan. And uh, we'll change the font to an impact. And we'll make it bigger. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and give it an outline. And I'll give it a thin outline. And we're going to go with uh, black, I think. And maybe not so dark black. Maybe not so light black. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. Kind of liking that. Now this is all basic. This is just how I do things. You know, everybody does things a little bit different. And, uh, you know, you always want to pay attention to the amount of time that your text is running as well as the amount of time that your video lasts. So this is seven seconds. This picture will be on the screen for seven seconds. And the text will last for, I think it was 6.3 something or other. Now we can go to the text and we can give the text an animation. And there are all kinds of animations. You can go over here to the far right and hit the drop down and get even more 
There's a bunch of them down here. There are even some with uh, effects like these here. So there's all kinds of animations that you can give your your uh, caption. So once you've figured out what's best for you, go ahead and select it. And I went with this one. I think it works best for this. And now I have my my animation for my font. And you can also make a intro, a, a decent intro with uh, with with just the movie maker. Okay, so we head back to home, and we're going to go ahead and add some music, because it seemed kind of plain. Did it seem plain to you? It seemed plain to me. So we're going to add some ambient background music. So that just kind of ties the whole thing together right there. My intro picture runs smoothly the into the video now. Monitor their chatter. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stop that. I like the way that sounds though. It even seems to go with the video. So I kind of lucked out right there. Believe me, I didn't set any of this up. I'm just grabbing stuff off my computer that I already have. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a little bit of narration. Okay, so I want my narration to start right there. And stop. Okay. So we save that, and it'll automatically put your narration in your video, right where you did it. Halo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim that down. So we select where we want it, go to our narration tool, and click split, and right click on the piece we don't want, and hit remove. And we can do that the same to the front. Split. Right click. Remove. Okay. So now we got narration, we got music, we got captions. Uh let's uh let's add a title. Why not? Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead and delete the default title and uh, come up with a title here. <laughs> a Halo short. Period. <laughs> I go back and delete that. Don't worry. Okay, go ahead and put it on impact and make it 72. Delete the period. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and pick our colors again. Outline. Oh, yeah, if that ever happens to you, all you do is you slide it back click on your text tool and then go back to what you're doing yeah that's happened to me before okay so 
kind of slide through. We're going to cut some of these clips down a little bit. They're a little long. We don't need a big old long film here. So we'll get rid of some of these. Trim them down a bit. And of course I clipped the wrong one. that's okay it's not a big deal now right there where that clip met that other one I should have gone back to my animations and put my animation back in there but I wasn't paying attention so but anyway we can get on with this alright so it, it's always a good idea to scroll back and forth through your clips and and see if you made any mistakes see if you've left anything out uh, I watch my videos probably five or six times okay so right now I went to video effects I went to the drop down and hit more effects and now I'm going to I have my video clip selected and I'm going fade in from black so I click on fade in from black and hit add and then apply now I go to my picture drop down add more effects and go fade out to black so now I'll have a, a fade in and out from black and I'll also go to my final clip drop down more effects and fade out to black and add and apply and there we go now I've got my effects for everything I don't want and yeah we'll go ahead and do the credits and delete the default credits and add our own credits now I'm going to do a scrolling uh, credits uh, you don't have to you don't have I mean you don't even have to have credits in your videos really I mean unless it's what you want I did it because it was fun. I mean, it's, you know, I'm playing producer here. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and drop it down, make it bigger. Go to the drop down, make it. Oh, well, I think I stayed with 36. Okay, hit enter a couple times, put some space in between those. Write some more credits. A production of my channel the last one 7139 typing typing like share comment and subscribe like always Uh, anytime you need to change anything, you just go up to the top where the tool for what it is you're wanting to change is. Whether it be video or music or text or narration. It's actually a really intuitive video maker. I'm just adding the lines and everything just like I did before and my colors. There we go scroll back see if I can see it that looks good okay go back to my video okay this is important add more time to your endings I'm gonna give mine 15 seconds now as you see when I added 15 seconds to that ending I have my text shrunk so I gotta go to my text tool and add 15 seconds to it and then I'm gonna go and grab the text bar and drag it to the edge of that clip so now my text fills my whole clip. So go back to home. And what do we have? Everything looks good. No, no need to do anything there. Okay. I'll go to an animation. Put an animation on that. We'll use that. That looks 
looks good. Now we'll play the clip. Start it at the beginning and play it. That's where that animation could have been put so that I had a smooth, smooth transition. But that's okay. It doesn't you don't have to have them. I mean, <laughs> excuse me. So yeah. This video should have you well on your way to making your own videos. Uh, it, it's really easy. I mean, it really is. There's really nothing to it uh, unless you have a more advanced video editor. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than using this. I mean, there are a lot of things you can't do with this that you can do with the uh, more expensive editors. <clears throat> or actually editors that cost money. This is free, that's why it's fairly basic. But you can get more advanced ones that are also free, like in Blender. Blender has a video editor. And there are others that uh, are online that are, are pretty good, that have some uh, pretty cool effects and whatnot. But Movie Maker is... <clears throat> really easy to use so and that's it yeah I think that turned out just right so the next thing would be to save this so I also noticed that uh, my music just turned off at the end I want it to fade out so I go to the music tool and hit fade out and fade out slow you can control music settings there so I mean there really wasn't any need to because there really wasn't all that much music so we can go up here and we can use the default to save it which saves it at 30 frames a second at 1080p I think or you can save just the audio you can save it at 60 frames uh, these are all custom ones that I made um, there are a lot of different ways to save it, different file types. Or you can go down to the bottom and create your own, which is what I've done. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something, and get into video editing. Take care. Enjoy.